name is Cecily Cardew, and I'm engaged to Mr. Ernest Worthing. Now, Mr. Ernest Worthing is my Uncle Jack's brother, and I'm so excited to marry him because I've been wanting to for so long. Look, he proposed to me under this a beautiful old tree. Now, he didn't really propose to me, and he wasn't actually really there. In fact, I've never met Mr. Ernest Worthing, but I know he's so very handsome. Anyone who's talked about a lot really is. I imagine him as tall and with a black mustache and sometimes with a brown top hat. Oh, and I hope he wears yellow. I do love men who wear yellow. It is so very happy of them. Hello, my name is Algernon Moncrief, and I am the star in the new play that Eden Troop has presented, The Importance of Being Ernest. Hello, my name is Ernest Worthing. Uh, I'm a, sort of a businessman. I work in investments, and I'm uh, currently about to propose to a wonderful girl named Gwendolyn. I'm very excited. I think she'll probably... Uncle Jack! Yeah, Cecily, Cecily, not right now. Busy. I have a problem. See, everyone in my, all my friends in the town call me Ernest. That's what I told them my name was. But, well, it, it isn't my name. It's, my name's actually Jack. But the, the, the problem is, Gwendolyn has a certain fancy with the name of Ernest and claims she, she doesn't want to marry anyone that isn't named Ernest. What really makes you love me? Oh, your name says it all. There's just something so wonderful and romantic about the name of Ernest, don't you agree? It's, it's just so earnest of you. I mean, what else? Well, what's your middle name? I don't have one. Well, Ernest really just covers it all, doesn't it? I'm really not sure what to do. I'm, I'm thinking maybe if I can just hold it, hold it up long enough that, that she thinks my name is Ernest, she can learn to love me from more things than just my name. I, maybe we can actually grow a deeper bond than just, you know, names. Hello, my name is Gwendolyn Fairfax, and I have just about had it with this Ernest fellow. He's got to hurry up and propose sometime. I mean, how long can it take if he earnestly loves me? Mr. Worthy will never marry my daughter. I will not allow it. Of course, Gwendolyn is under the impression that he is a perfectly, perfectly acceptable man to marry. She has no idea. I'm afraid I simply cannot accept Mr. Worthing's parentage or lack thereof as acceptable and a suitable match for my daughter. I'm just gonna find her. <clears throat> Uncle Jack. Yes. Uncle Jack, yes, yes, yes. Go we're going to be in a show. Uh, yes. We're yes. going to be in the importance of being earnest. Your brother is named Ernest, Uncle Jack. Yeah, yeah, my, my brother. Yes, it's going to be on Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. And we're all going to be there. And Uncle Jack and I and Miss Prism and even your brother Ernest are going to be there. Isn't that right? Yeah, yes, Cecily. And then we're having an improv show, Saturday matinee. It's going to be so fun, Uncle Jack! I'm so excited! It's so, so am I, Cecily. 